confident, uh, is not going to draw a whole lot of attention. Uh, look ahead, Indy was a slight favorite. We've seen, you know, a little bit, little bit of movement towards them, but not significant. Hasn't hit the three yet. Colts are off the bye. They beat the Pats in Germany. The Bucks. I would say they played pretty well in San Francisco, right? The Niners are humming right now, and 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 they held their own. They almost covered all numbers, but I know they covered a few. Um, but Tampa Bay overall has lost five of six since starting three and one. So the Baker Mayfield honeymoon down there uh, on the Gulf Coast is certainly over. Chris, I'll, I'll give you first crack here again. It, it, it My guess is we don't see a three, but if we do, Tampa plus three will probably be a bet for a lot of people. Uh, it, yeah, it, you know, the Tampa Bay is not dead by any means. They're uh, in the thick of the divisional race. So uh, don't forget that. Uh, as a San Francisco teaser better last week, I was paranoid San Francisco had an outside shot of losing that game. Wow. Uh, it, it seemed to have gotten away from them a little bit as Baker gained more confidence uh, throughout the game. And uh, if it hadn't have been for a couple of goofy things, I, I think Tampa Bay would have been within six points and San Francisco needing to kill the ball uh, and Tampa Bay would have had a shot to win that game. So uh, Tampa Bay has been playing well. They've been increasing in value over the past five weeks on my model. And Indianapolis isn't doing much. They're declining week by week. They just dumped Leonard, who was, uh, yeah. you know, part of their uh, heart and soul of that team. And so there's a piece of them gone. And some people think that that doesn't matter. That matters. And uh, after watching the Barry Sanders documentary and how the players talked about how when certain players left, it happens. And I believe he's a, he was a part of that heart and soul of that team. Indianapolis has all the reason to play also. I just think uh, these teams uh, are going to put up some points. I think Tampa Bay can play with these guys easily. They can. Uh, the Colts can't stop anybody, and Tampa Bay is perfectly able to score. So another perfect opportunity. The model likes Tampa Bay to play it straight, but uh, as uh, Steve kind of alluded to, it, why why play these small numbers? I'm teasing them up, and I use them with uh, San Francisco. And a two-team teaser. I like it. So I make it 2.65, which means it's going to be difficult for me to find a bet at, at two and a half. I'm going to pass. I agree with Chris. I'm going to lean over. The reason I didn't play over 44, there's 43 and a halves out there. And 44 is the rare even number that's quite important. You know, if the 20 to 17 add another yeah. touchdown, you get to 44. So just a lean at 43 and a half, it probably would have been a play. Um, also, I'm a little perplexed about the whole Darius Leonard. You know, he spoke out. He said he wasn't being used correctly. Now he won't be used at all because he, they dumped that big contract and let him go. How is the team going to react? Are they going to look, go ahead and say, wait a minute, you know, this team demands top performance or are they going to react of, oh, if I say my mind, you know, big brother's going to fire my butt. So I'm really not sure the reaction to that. It could well be negative. I'll stay on the sideline. I, I, I like the teaser angle here. I think, um, I think Tampa Bay in a teaser because I, based on what we're kind of gleaning here, this is not getting to three. And if it gets to three, it's going to get bought down very quickly um, based on what these two sharp gentlemen are kind of, are kind of hinting at here. Um, so I think bucks up to eight and a half might be the best value play you get on Tampa. Um, because again, and if, again, if, you, if it gets to a three, uh, I might just, you know, bet the three if we get there. But I think it, it kind of seems like the Bucks in a teaser. And and Fez alluded to the over, too. I don't see it as much with the over because Tampa Bay is so damn methodical. But I, I, I can see it on, on Indy's side. They've been really boom or bust with Minshew. So, yeah, Bucks in the over seems to be kind of uh, the prevailing wins here. Chris is going to put it in a teaser. He's going to take the Bucks up to eight and a half uh, and use it in a teaser with the Niners. And uh, Fez, if we see a 43 and a half, my guess is Fez will fire on the over there, right? Right, Fez? Yes, I will. Yeah, makes sense. 